Hello, my name is Jim Upoff. I'm the product manager for fixtures at ETC, and I'm here today at Full Compass looking at the Source Forward, the LED retrofit for Source 4 tungsten fixtures. So this is the Source Forward. This is the first true retrofit, LED retrofit, for the Source 4 fixture, of which there are over 1.7 million and counting out in the field today. So this takes and replaces the burner assembly of a full-size Source 4. This does not work with a Fresnel uh, Source 4 or a Source 4 PAR or a Source 4 Junior, but with the full-sized Source 4s and removes the burner assembly, the HPL lamp burner assembly, and replaces it with an LED uh, burner assembly retrofit. So we call this a true retrofit. It is a non-destructive retrofit because it uses the entire fixture body itself except for the burner assembly. It uses the same reflector, same optical system, same fixture housing, and it is the first of its kind. So if we take a look at the hardware, you'll see first of all the LED array itself. And if we can get a close-up on that, you'll see that this is really mimicking the HPL lamp uh, itself. Uh, it's a four-sided LED array. This is a custom, unique LED array built for ETC. And it's built on a heat pipe there. And what that does is it mimics the light output of a standard, a traditional HPL lamp so that it can use that same reflector and same fixture housing. If we look at the back, because it mimics that lamp, we still get a Z adjustment knob that allows us to move that lamp forward and backward to adjust the field uh, from peak to flat of the beam itself. And then we also get the advantage uh, of being able to uh, have controls to be able to do DMX or line dim. So this is an AC dimmable or DMX controlled dimmable fixture all in one unit. So depending on what your situation is, what retrofit uh, conditions you have in your facility, we're gonna be able to accommodate all of those situations. Um, on the back here, we have a user interface. It's just a simple seven segment display that allows you to turn it into AC mode if you're doing AC dimming or to set a DMX address if that's what you prefer, uh, as well as two RJ45 ports for DMX input. Now, this is not a networked device. We're just doing DMX over CAT5, uh, but both an in and a through port there to be able to uh, get your data in and out of the fixture. You'll also notice here that it is a hardwired power cord uh, with the uh, ability to order uh, with the connector of choice. So the real brilliance of this product is its simplicity. Um, unlike some of the other uh, LED upgrades that you may have seen for Source 4, this is really a very quick, simple, straightforward retrofit process. So we have a, an existing sort of uh, weathered Source 4 here. This works, like I said, with any full-sized Source 4. And in just a couple of seconds, I've done this as quick as 14 or 15 seconds I've been able to get a, a fixture upgraded to the source forward system. Um, I do recommend taking a little longer than that as this process can be a little delicate. I should mention that the LEDs here, you'll notice they are exposed and that's so that it works within the existing optical system. So we do have to be careful in this process and we've taken a lot of, of measures to make sure that this process is as simple and straightforward as possible. So by removing the burner assembly as such, uh, installing a, a, a little standoff post that we have. This is just a little threaded post that you install where the screw uh, from the traditional burner assembly would go. We install that quickly. You're going to want to get a crescent wrench on that to do a quarter turn past hand tight. So we just give it a little tighten, tightening there. And this post serves two purposes. First of all, it allows us to attach uh, from the screw that's inside here on the source forward, as well as allowing us to guide the source forward onto the fixture body. Um, we want to make sure that as we uh, uh, insert the LED array here that we're not bumping it against the fixture. And this, threat, this uh, standoff post will uh, allow us to do that. So once you get that lined up, it'll slide into place just like that. A screwdriver on the back, a couple of turns from there to tighten it down. And that is it. We've now upgraded this to an LED fixture. Um, what's great about this process is because it's so simple, because it's so quick, you can very often do this without having to even break focus on the fixture. So you don't have to touch shutters, you don't have to touch barrels, you don't have to touch the yoke unless it's pointed you know, straight up or down through the yoke. Um, so the ability to do this very quickly and go from fixture to fixture and even do it in the air without having to take the fixture down uh, can really speed up this process if you have a lot of these fixtures in your facility. So let's talk about some of the features now. We talked about it being both AC and line dimmable. Um, we should also mention that this is a RDM capable device. So for remote uh, device management, you're gonna be able to, to control it and patch it from uh, an RDM console. Um, it is fan cooled, but it is a, a quiet fan. Uh, you'll, if you see one of these in, in person, you'll probably not even be able to, to hear the fan on. 
Um, and there's, it is a 40 LED array. So this is a 40 LED, 3000 Kelvin LEDs are being used in this device. It is available in both 80 and 90 CRI. Um, but the, the, uh, that is the only color temperature that is available is that 3000 Kelvin. So I'm gonna plug this in real quick and, and we can take a look at the dimming performance. Again, uh, pretty straightforward. Plug in the uh, RJ45 to DMX adapter um, that are available as accessories. Make sure that the DMX address is set, which it is to DMX1 right here. And basically it's gonna operate at this point like a standard source for it as a single DMX profile. So it is just one DMX address from your console. Dimming performance is going to be better with DMX than it would be over AC dimming. That's just a, a common thing with LEDs. Uh, dimming performance is very good via AC dimming, but it, you're always gonna get better resolution on your dimming uh, when you're doing it with a DMX source. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a very simple product. The idea here is to keep the, the upgrade process and the, and the user experience as simple as possible. A very simple, quick retrofit to uh, convert any standard source for uh, incandescent fixture to a, an LED product. Um, the idea here is to keep that process as quick and painless as it can be to the user at a low cost to get a true retrofit for your source for. For more information on source forward, you can go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro. Thank you.